Okie dokie, senor. Are we recording? We are recording. Oh dear, they caught us in our actual voices. Yes, oh my goodness. Did you, you know we are such good actors? found out we are both Scottish, hence our accents. Scottish? <laughs> you were Romanian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm Rick Nick Foss. Instagram, and Twitter for more juicy content. So today we were reacting to a new, I believe it's a Malayalam trailer. Ah. Fafa. I. Got a lot of messages about this. Facil, or as I know him, my dost fafa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this trailer just dropped. I think it was last night for us. Uh, it's called Ear... Replaceable. Iru... Oh. Iru... Iru... Is it an R or an L? It's an R, yeah. Iru... 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 Yeah, Malayalam Fahad Facil. Uh, Subin Shahir again, Darshana Ranjandran, and it's a Malayalam film. Oh, just the first four words. You got to do it like this: a dark, rainy night, an empty house, a stranded couple, and an unknown man. A sleek game of the cat and mouse starts playing on as the three of them find a dead body in the basement. The movie takes the shape of an old-fashioned whodunit, the kind with mystery, suspense and a house which feels like a mousetrap, leaving us questioning, who is the killer? Find out in Erul on April 2nd, Netflix. There's a lot of... Did the Super Baby write that? Yeah, I, think I so. love it. Uh, Great I, job. I don't know if that's... Uh, let's hold on, let me check the uh, description of the video. A romantic comedy was... <laughs> yeah, no, so this is... They just took oh, it okay, they took it straight off of the Netflix India description. All right. Cool. Cool. It does sound like Knives Out-ish mm -hmm. style. Uh, but, you know, those whodunit mit murders are all right, pretty like much... Clue. Yeah. A, one, if you haven't seen Clue. If, oh, classic comedy. It's one of the... So, so funny. One of the best. Uh, oh, I don't think I need that. Let me turn on the thing here. Uh, was it... I wonder if this one was also done uh, during the pandemic. Ah. Uh, because that, yeah, we're at the point now where a lot of stuff coming out was filmed well, during the because pandemic. Because See You Soon. That was all that was filmed all during the pandemic. pandemic. Yep. Uh, so I'm wondering if uh, this one was as well. Uh, turn it on the sound here! There it is. Let's go! I like it. I like it. I I I like a it a lot. lot. <laughs> I like it a, a lot. lot. Yeah. One, 
all the actors. One, we know two. How many times have they worked together? A lot. And, but they're both... Well, everything we've seen. Yeah. <laughs> they're both fantastic, fantastic actors. actors. So it doesn't surprise me that they love working together. Sure. And I believe we've seen her as well. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But is it just a three-person... At the beginning, I actually thought it was Knives Out. Mm. Because it started... I thought he was playing the uh, Daniel Craig role. Mm. I suspect foul play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he's, it was based off of a novel, right. which is very Knives Out-ish, right? Right. Uh, and then it obviously went which, to a big difference. <laughs> big difference. And if you haven't seen Knives Out, it's just a fun, it's fun It's a very movie. fun murder mystery it's film. Very fun. Uh, but this looks like it's much darker than Knives much Out. Much darker. Much, much darker. And I hope that's the case. I always get... I just get jazzed whenever I see editing that matches sound on screen with the score of the, the trailer. Mm -hmm. So like when they were running and the running matched the rhythm of the music, when they were running down the hall, for both of them, it was da 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 Like when they do gunshots that always work in sequence with them. I love that attention to detail like that. It's just so fun to make it all a collective orchestral whole. I... I really, 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 really want to see this. Yeah, so it comes out in April. I love Fafa's look. Yeah, he looks good. He looks very different. Mm -hmm. You know, he's literally, he's in the conversation with... Um, oh, yeah. The one, the, at least the alive ones, obviously, Yerfan is, is is at his own status, but like, of like, Nawaz, Pankaj, of, of those, uh, Manoj, Fafa. He, yes. He's literally in my top three, probably. Exactly. Uh, who, who we consider, you know... You can make anybody be a movie star, but not everybody can be an, a, what a we thespian. call a thespian, an actor. And he is one. We don't call it. If you didn't know, the origin of that word comes from the Greek. His name was Thespis. He stepped out of the Greek chorus. He was the first one to do it. That's why actors are called thespians. Look it up. Uh, but yeah, I love his look in there. I love the intensity of it. I love... Yeah. Um, well, I love cinematography. Looks really, cinematography really nice looks too. Really pretty. Yeah, really pretty. I'm excited to see Fafa and um, um, uh, Subin Shahir Subin uh, act again together because I think the first thing we saw uh, them in was Kumbh the G Nights, right? Yeah, co that would be correct. And mm -hmm. loved both of them in it. She is familiar. She uh, does. I'm going to look her up yeah, right now. Yeah, I, I hope we're not going to look at this and go, yeah, duh, like we do all the time. But um, I, I feel like we have seen her in at least one film before. It's a three-person cast. It's a three-person film. Awesome. I love it. And awesome. that means it was filmed during the pandemic. Yep. And they did it. They quarantined, probably. Uh, I'd love uh, to... Fafa, if you'd like to promote this film. We'd love to talk uh, to you. I've been wanting to talk to let's, you for a long time. Let's talk craft. Let's he, talk acting. Apparently, he's one of the ones that also doesn't do a lot of interviews. Yeah. Uh, kind of like... Danny Day Lewis, you know, just doesn't just doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. Yeah. Um, but let's see. Her we name love is. Love to talk to you oh. about your process. She was in Virus. There we go. I knew we'd she... seen her before. Yeah, she was in Virus. See... Yep. Oh, she was oh, in Season Two. Soon. Hold on, let me check what else. What else have we seen? Okay, it's just those two. Okay, but yeah, so we've seen two things. I knew she yeah, looked yeah, yeah. familiar. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, she. Looked... Virus was where it stood out the most for me. I remember her from Virus. Uh, sure. So it comes out April second. It's Great. directed by. Nassif. Nassif Yusuf Is this his directorial debut? It sure looks like it on his IMDb page there, doesn't it? looks it? like he wrote it. It's an adapted for Malayalam. Hmm. And it's produced by... Adapted from what? Another screenplay? Or from other material like a, like a novel or a story? No, it just says adapted for Malayalam. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Yep. The Dark Knight... An empty house. Big team worked on the adaptation there, the writing. A couple, I don't know, man. A sleek game of cat and mouse. So you don't, so it's basically essentially like Clue, or uh, Clue, because they were all wondering who did it in Clue. Or, but obviously or, this doesn't look like funny, like Clue. Right, or as well, there's a great three-person play called Mousetrap um, that actually was filmed. I don't even know if you could see it anymore. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember who the woman was in the cast. But it was Michael Caine and Christopher Reeve before Christopher Reeve's accident, and a woman, and it's a three-person play called *The Mouse Trap*, and it's a murder mystery. I wonder if it's anything. If this is like an adaptation of that. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting, but looks great. Fantastic trailer. I'm yeah, always great trailer. I'm always excited to see more Fahad Fasil uh, because you know I, I love him, and I can't wait to see all of his work just like Noah's and all those people and I hope this has some aspects that looks like there could be some moments that really scare the crap out of you which 
is going to be great. So Hopefully this so. comes out April 2nd, which is a lost very, very of soon. time currently. Very soon. Sweet. In a week. Gonna, two weeks-ish? Barely. Yeah. Like so two probably weeks. two Fridays from now. That is, you are, it's exactly two Fridays from now. Two Fridays two from weeks. now. Uh, so that should be our Thursday because it's going straight to Netflix. It's Thursday. our, it's our April Fool's Day. So Netflix, don't mess with us. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it, it did say Netflix, right? It did. It, it's Netflix. Our theaters are, I doubt well, this will be playing at all. Yeah. Uh, Not with yet. the current, we do have some theaters open currently. Well, they open tomorrow. Yeah, uh, theaters are opening this weekend. Restaurants they, have opened. Disneyland's they, opening. They're all showing like Tenant or the award shows ones that have yes, been out because, for a while. Because no, no studio has a, a yet distributed a new film. Studio's going to wait until they know the public trusts you going back to the theater. Correct. <laughs> so, so we're not really going to get major releases probably till the summertime. Probably. So, uh, but anyways, let us know about this. Let us know what else, uh, what else we should know down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>